We hear from the owner of a Greenville body shop whose dog was killed in a fire Wednesday morning. Investigators think that fire was set intentionally. News 12's Chris Young breaks down what the owner is saying now and updates us on the investigation. Investigators say the fire started in the office of this building, ruling it intentional. And now Greenville PD says they do have a person of interest, but wouldn't elaborate. And the owners are left picking up whatever's left. Haseem Everett tells me he started this business in 2018, and two months ago he handed it over to his nephew, Brandon Jackson. Brandon took me through his experience early Wednesday morning. At first it was just smoke, and the firefighters were spraying the building down, but after that, um, that's where it just the fire just got worse at. When the smoke did eventually clear, one person was injured and taken to ECU Health Medical Center and a dog's remains were found in the wreckage, according to Greenville Fire and Rescue. The dog was Haseem's pit bull, who he says has been with him through everything. When we was uh, first starting out in a little small garage around the corner, I didn't have nothing and he was always there happy, right there with me with nothing. Happy to see me, you know, happy to, to be able to support. So uh, he was definitely a family member. So. Greenville Fire and Rescue tells us 24 firefighters came to battle the fire. Haseem tells me he appreciates the effort the fire department put into saving his business. But now he's focused on salvaging whatever's left, taking me through the aftermath. It was a classic here that we was doing a restoration on. We were probably about 90% done with it before it be transitioned to the booth. And we had a Lexus here that we had finished up body work on and I had a, to uh, a Ford on the lift that was getting a head job done and it was a um, just about to be finished up within a day or two. Again, Greenville PD does have a person of interest, but the investigation is still ongoing. With any updates, we'll provide you with them on air and online. In Greenville, I'm Chris Young with News 12.